insulin resistance is a very, very, very common condition I see in my practice. The reason it's so common is because most people who come to see me are people who are having a hard time losing weight. Not the type who like, I can just stop eating dessert and drop weight. You know, people who actually truly struggle. And the majority, 90% of my patients are insulin resistant, meaning that their body still makes the hormone insulin, but it doesn't work properly. And the best example is this picture. It's showing an insulin resistant cell where there's actually plenty of insulin. And if you compare the two pictures in the top, there might even be more insulin in the bottom picture. But when insulin attaches to the receptor, it doesn't open quite normally. So glucose doesn't get through. So if you look at the cells, this bottom cell has like only three little depicted molecules of glucose inside, whereas the other normal cell has so much more. But look on the outside, there's all this sugar on the outside. Now, the end result of insulin resistance is diabetes. But what we know is in the years before someone develops a problem with diabetes and that sort of thing, they're insulin resistant. And the way the body responds is by secreting more insulin. Insulin is the hormone that allows sugar to enter our cells. In the normal state under normal cells, um, the glucose, which is sugar, when we eat any type of food, carbohydrate, even protein and fat, eventually gets broken down into glucose so we can get it into our cells for energy. It's the preferred fuel. That's depicted in the red. And insulin is the hormone that's absolutely necessary to get insulin in there. If you don't have insulin, like a type 1 diabetic, you die because your cells are starved. No energy gets in. Insulin is depicted in the blue, so when insulin attaches, glucose enters the cells and the cells have adequate energy. So you see in that first picture, the cell has a lot of nutrients and energy and essentially the cell is happy.